Indian red uh, uh, colorants. The red color is due to hematite, iron oxide. And a lot of the Ozarks is capped by this sandstone. You see this outcropping throughout large areas of, of southern Missouri. So it's going to form the very tops of the hills where we'll be floating, the very highest of hills. Uh, it's the formation above the Gasconade. You're going to see the Gasconade in just really one place on Bylander Bluff. The uppermost part of the bluff will be the Gasconade. And then higher up, back beyond uh, where you can see from the river, would be the Rubidoux Formation. So everything we're going to be in is going to be older and will underlie this sandstone. And, and give you an age of the rocks we're going to be in. This is around 500 million years old. It was laid down in... I don't know, I've never made it across before. It looks like a face in that mountain over there, in this camera. It's a little tinkle. It's a tinkle. You want a tinkle? You want a tinkle? So is all this a spring? Pretty waterfall. See all these archways and expect to see like wow my god. It's kind of a video. We need like four points for this. Huh? <laughs> There's wild animals in there. Okay. This is so 
What makes them stay this color? It's just going the green. Yeah. If we be hearing that, we gotta stay up here for a little bit. So, how much further, Bert? Uh, not too much further.